As the ocean continues to hit record high temperatures amid the climate crisis, the National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration warns of massive coral bleaching happening around the world. It's the fourth global coral bleaching event in recorded history. For the first time in seven years, Guam coral reefs are predicted to experience severe widespread coral bleaching and death, according to the Department of Agriculture. Over at the Fish Eye Marine Park in Petey, environmentalist and free diving instructor Farron Tyron tells KUAM he's already seeing and hearing the impact with a silent sea. Not only can you see reef health, but you can hear it in the silence of the fish. So in a really healthy reef, and I've traveled around a lot of areas. Uh, I used to live on the Great Barrier Reef in Australia, and you can hear the difference between a really healthy reef with a lot of parrotfish, a lot of lagua palaxi doing their jobs, um, scraping the algae off the coral and so on. And so when you're spearfishing or when you're out there on, out there on the water, and it's quiet, it's, it's kind of sad. It's not supposed to be like that. You're supposed to see these bright, vibrant colors, not these bone white corals. On September 29th, Guam's waters entered bleaching alert level two, the highest possible alert for our region, which indicates that significant bleaching and mortality is expected within the next month. It's a looming concern for Tyron. Part of my upbringing is in the water, in the ocean, and relying on our, our coral reefs for all types of things, um, spearfishing, fun, uh, my livelihood as a free diving instructor, and our culture. But there's still time to get ahead of the coral reef crisis. The Guam Reef Restoration and Intervention Partnership, or GRIP, has been monitoring the reef's health for the past several months through snorkeling surveys. So far, only patches of bleaching have been observed, affecting certain coral species. I have a very cool friend at the UOG Marine Lab, Ashley Castro. Um, she's saying they've seen some bleaching um, in the coral nursery. That's right here in PD, a couple bomb holes over. And uh, and so there's there, it's not all doom and gloom just yet. We still have uh, time to um, react to things if we stay on top of them. If conditions worsen, they plan to initiate an island-wide bleaching survey and need the community's help. If you are seeing corals dying, absolutely report it. There is a website, eormarianas.org, and you can say the things that you're seeing. You can report bleaching. You can record, report uh, crown of thorns outbreaks. Meantime, Tyron shares some ways you can help protect the reefs. At the individual level, just don't step on the coral. Uh, it, you know, don't touch the corals. Don't stack corals to try to make them like uh, pretty or some type of funny stack sculpture. If you can, um, wear reef safe sunblock uh, sunscreen. Um, you have to actually look at the ingredients. It's got to be titanium dioxide or zinc oxide. Abandoned fishing nets can snag coral and um, fish along with it and just cause a lot of unnecessary death. Matsuki Hirayama, KUEM News.